1881, Tombstone, Arizona. The draw of silver led this town to become one of America's last boom towns of the American Old West. Some folks came to make it, and others came to take it. Nestled in Cochise County, Arizona, Tombstone became another den for the Cochise County Cowboys. The Cowboys stole cattle, upheld stagecoaches, and became synonymous with the term outlaws. The Earp brothers, Wyatt and Jim, along with newly appointed U.S. Deputy Marshal Virgil Earp, arrived in Tombstone in December 1879. Shortly after, there would be a killing of the Tombstone Marshal in 1880 by Curly Bill. Virgil would eventually find himself the town marshal. Tensions between the Earps and the Cowboys mounted as the town passed a law in April 1881 that prohibited anyone from carrying a deadly weapon in town. On October 26, 1881, at the O.K. Corral, Virgil Earp decided he would enforce that law. With reports of cowboys armed in town, Virgil, Wyatt, Morgan Earp, and Doc Holliday set up on Fremont Street. The cowboys' continuing threats at the Earp posse consisted of Billy Claiborne, Wes Fuller, Frank and Tom McClory, and Billy Clanton. Today we play the shootout at the O.K. Corral. Turn one is staged, the Cowboys win priority with a six, but they don't know that the Earps are coming, so they're unable to do anything on this first turn. We go over to the Earps, we've got Doc Holliday and Morgan moving up one flank, while Wyatt and Virgil move up the other. Turn two goes to the Earps, as a six beats a two, Doc Holliday moves into position and aims his shotgun, needs to pass a toughness test, but fails, aiming for Billy Claiborne. And next up, Morgan Earp is going to pop out as well. He will pass his toughness test and take a shot. He needs a 7 with his revolver due to a minus 1 of being nervous. That shot is going to miss. Wyatt Earp takes a flanking position on the other side of the building and takes a shot with his revolver, getting a plus 1 for his skill. And on a 5, he hits, and he hits Billy Claiborne in the chest. Over for the Cowboys, Billy Claiborne is going to charge into Morgan Earp after just taking that shot, and they are going to go into fisticuffs. Morgan Earp will take a snapshot and miss, and the two are going to get into hand-to-hand -hand combat. With cards being drawn, the Queen beats the 10, and that will be two dice rolled out against Morgan Earp, and that is going to be two chest wounds, and he is going out of action for this game. Wes Fuller then makes a move to the horses, and Billy Clanton will take a shot at Doc Holliday. Two shots with his revolver. Both are, one is going to hit, but it will have no effect. The other shot will miss. Ike Clanton then decides to take two shots with his revolver. We do get a snap reaction from Doc Holliday to move behind some cover. The shots go out. The first is going to hit Doc Holliday and knock him unconscious. The second shot is going to miss. Oh, Frank McClary activates next, moves around the building, targets Virgil Earp with his revolver. He gets a plus one to hit, needs a five. That will hit, but the shot does not have an effect. Tom McClary follows his brother's lead, pops around the building, and takes a shot at Virgil Earp with his revolver. He is nervous, however, so he does need a seven to hit at short range, and that shot is going to miss. Skedaddle rolls are good, and we move into the next turn, where an ace is going to beat the king, and the Earps will get the priority. Doc Holliday recovers from being unconscious with the ace, and he's going to move into Billy Claiborne. And the cards that come out will be an ace that beats a queen. He will do two damage to Billy Claiborne. The first one is a chest wound on this nine. That will be two chest wounds for Claiborne, and he is out of action. Wyatt Earp then moves into a better position behind the building, points his revolver at Frank McClary and takes a shot. Will need sevens due to cover, although he does get his modifying bonus. Still needs a seven. The first will miss. Going to use his reroll here. He gets one of these per game. The shot is going to hit, but it will not do any damage. Virgil Earp takes a similar approach, moving around to the side of the OK Corral, and he's going to fan fire his revolver, taking all six of his shots into Tom McClary, and these need tens to hit as he is firing rapid fire, and they're all going to miss. 
Over for the Cowboys, Wes Fuller decides to mount a horse, and then Frank McClary will take shots into Wyatt Earp, and he's going to fire twice, and these will need sevens due to cover, and the first shot will miss, the second will hit, and it will hit Wyatt Earp in the leg. Brother Tom will move down towards the alley of the OK Corral, target Virgil Earp with his revolver. He is nervous, so it will be a 7 to hit, even though at short range, and that shot is going to hit, and it will have no effect on Virgil. While Virgil appears to be okay, Billy Clanton uses his first action to move, draws his revolver at Doc Holliday, and takes a shot. He will need a six to hit with his revolver at short range, and he is going to get a hit against Doc Holliday, and that will be a hit in the leg. Ike Clanton will move up as well and do the same thing that his brother did, take a shot with his revolver at Doc Holliday. That shot, however, will miss. We then roll for skedaddle rolls at the end of the round, and both sides are okay. Next turn is ready, and the Jack beats a three. The Earps will be up. Virgil is going to move into contact with Tom McClary here, and they are going to come to blows. And a jack is played again, and Virgil will injure him in the arm and the leg. His second action will charge into Tom again, and this time he will not be able to do any additional damage, despite winning the round again. Wyatt Earp activates next, moves down the alley, and points his revolver at Tom McClary, takes the shot, and while he does get a hit, it is only a graze. Next up, Doc Holliday moves into contact with Ike Clanton, and they do win the fisticuffs playing a higher card, and Ike will be knocked unconscious. Billy Clanton reacts to his brother and charges into Doc Holliday, engaging in fisticuffs. And this time, the Earps do not have a card to play, and that's a low blow that will be played. And the two injury rolls will be to the arm and to the leg, so Doc Holliday barely making it through this game. After pushing Doc Holliday back, he then snaps his shot with his revolver, and while hitting on a six, the shot will just graze Doc Holliday. Back on the other side of the board, both Tom and Frank are going to fire the revolvers two times at Virgil Earp, while Tom misses twice and Frank hits once. The shot grazes Virgil and has no further effect. Wes Fuller, mounted on his horse, is also drunk, so is minus two to shooting. He targets Doc Holliday after reloading his revolver with his first action. He is going to fan fire the three shots that he has, and because he is using that, he needs tens, and all three of these shots are going to miss. Starting up a new turn, the Earps take the initiative, and Wyatt Earp is going to aim and fire. He is going to get a hit, however, have no effect on the target, which is Tom McClary. Virgil Earp is also going to reload three shots into his pistol and fire, and he's going to miss. With Doc Holliday ineffective on the other side of the board, Tom McClary is going to charge into Wyatt Earp. They get into fisticuffs, and I play a low blow here that matches the suit that she played, so I am going to knock him unconscious. Frank then cracks a shot at Virgil Earp, which misses. He then charges into contact, and I play another low blow here. This does not work out this time, so the suits do not match, and Virgil will make it out of this unharmed. Billy Clinton then charges into Doc Holliday against a really bad hand of mine. I am going to lose this combat, and Doc Holliday will take an additional wound in the leg, and that's three that is going to do him in for this game. Doc Holliday is a casualty. Wes Fuller then charges on his horse into Virgil Earp. We get into fisticuffs, and I actually win this battle and do two blows to him, knocking him unconscious. Ike Clinton then moves down the alley, takes a shot at Virgil Earp, and ends up hitting him again in the leg. And skedaddle rolls are taken. While the Cowboys are good, the Earps roll up a two, and that is official skedaddle. So while Virgil and Wyatt Earp take flight in this battle, there will be retribution for their brother Morgan Earp's death and their friend Doc Holliday. While in real life this event only lasted about 30 seconds, 30 shots were fired and Ike Clanton would later file murder charges against the Earps, but they were found to be acting within the law. While Billy Claiborne died in our scenario, Frank and Tom McClary died along with Billy Clanton in this shootout. Thank you to Little Wars TV for letting me participate in this Quick Strike Challenge. I hope you enjoyed. I will leave some links to the free rules for this game in the description below. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below as well. Thanks again so much, and we will see you in the next one. Take care.